Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a love reading for the week of August 8th, alright, um, let's get into it, off camera when I was shuffling for you guys I heard clear, so I don't know if you're getting clear messages, uh, you're thinking clearly or you need to clear, clear out space, clear your energy, I don't know. I hopefully, hopefully you took advantage of this new moon, this 8-8 eight, eight portal. You really walked through it. You know, you really cleared. So, I don't know. Let's see what the cards have to tell us. Um, okay. Um, thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius. It's a clear, clear, <laughs> concise message from you. All right. Let's get into it. So Aquarius, let's see how you are coming into the week in terms of love. What does the week look like for Aquarius in terms of love? In terms of love, what does the week look like for Aquarius? Wow, the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, elation, um, emotional stability. This also could be, you know, on the adverse side of this. This is just emotional stability by yourself because the nines govern solidarity, solitude, single, singular. So um, you're happy by yourself. You're happy alone. You're happy going it alone, if you will. Um, also, it could be a wish. Also, this card says make a wish. It could come true. I think a lot of people interpret it as, oh, I'm getting a wish. No, make a wish it can be very well come true because the nines talk about singular solidarity. So that means that you're without your thing, right? Whatever you're wishing for. So it says make a wish it could possibly come into you, which would then take you to the Ten of Cups, okay? Um, the Nine of Cups here come, as you're coming into the week. Um, emotional stability, says the Nine of Cups. Um, happy times, fun times, good food, good drink, good people. If you are coupled or you have a partnership or something of that nature, good sex, just good times all together. Uh, how is Aquarius partner? Whomever they're coming to the reading for, how does their partner feel? How does Aquarius partner? Whomever they're coming to the reading for, how do they feel? How does, okay. The hermit. Yeah, you guys are not talking. You guys are not together for some of you. But the majority of you, of whoever this reading will uh, resonate with the hermit card. So your partner feels like the hermit. They feel like they need to go on some self-discovery journey here for themselves, by themselves. They also need a lot of healing, self-help, self-love with the pink flower there. Um, and then the blue, all the blue talks about healing. Also, they need to heal their emotions. They need to go on this self-discovery journey. They need to also kind of look, be introspective about their own personal philosophy. It's what we create for ourselves. It's what we live by. And this person needs to examine it and ask the question, is it working for them? Or is it working against them? Are they getting the outcomes that they're looking for? So that's all you're really doing when you're going on that self-discovery journey is really, you know, asking, is what I'm doing working for me? What outcome am I getting? What am I looking for? Um, also with the Hermit card, your person feels like uh, they're looking for answers outside of themselves, but it says the answer is within. So hopefully they are actually going within, within, putting the flashlight on themselves um, they need some time alone. They could be spending a lot of time alone. If you are in a partnership with this person, they're asking for time alone, whether they're actually saying it to you or they're saying it to you via their actions. They just need time alone, okay? Um, they have a lot to figure out. What's the energy between Aquarius and this person? What's the energy between Aquarius and this person? The energy between Aquarius tower yes yeah, something happened okay um something could have happened but this tower is 
it has historical reference. So this wasn't like out of the blue. Out of the blue, you wake up and you find out that this person is cheating on you. They have a whole nother life or another person. No, this tower has historical reference. Meaning this thing, this issue, this problem has surfaced before in your connection and now it's resurfacing. It's coming up again. The tower comes in to kind of shift the energy to understand, for us to understand that uh, what we built this connection, this relationship on is faulty. It's faulty ground. We need to rebuild if we're going to do that. Or it just needs to come down and we need to leave it in the rubble. No need to pick through the rubble and try to salvage it. The tower also it specifically talks about a shakeup in a relationship. Also, could be dealing with the Scorpio. There could have been an argument. There could have been revelation about something that has a tie to something you already knew, you had an inkling of, or you had an intuition about. Something prompted either you to bring the tower down, or so the universe will synchronize things, okay? Events, places, things, people. And then they do this so that the tower can happen. Okay, they know that people are people. You're going to react, overreact, or, or, or act. You're just going to act. You're going to act to these secret synchronizations, is that a word? To these synchronicities. <laughs> Oh, you're going to react to these synchronicities and it looks like the tower came down. You guys could have had a fight, could have been an argument. It's just some, all of a sudden, sudden upheaval. Upheaval of emotions, upheaval. Uh, to upheaval anything or to up level anything, it had to be buried at the surface, at the beneath the surface. Once again, this was an issue it has historical value. You guys have been here before. Now it just resurfaced upheaval. What can you tell Aquarius about this relationship? What do you want to tell Aquarius here about this relationship? Looks like you're happy though. I don't know. It's like maybe you got out of something. You just said, you know what? It's, it's best to go it alone. Um, this person is going to throw some self healing journey um what is what do you want to tell Aquarius the three of pentacles um the three of pentacles so destruction with the upheaval the tower and then rebuilding or building what the universe wants to tell you is that you have to if you want to come back together with this person um you guys are going to have to rebuild. Um, but it's going to have to be the right way. The Three of Pentacles talks about the influence of the masculine, the feminine, and then the divine spark that holds you two together. Think about this. Okay. The masculine, okay, the masculine, and then the, the, fem, the feminine, and then the divine spark, right? It's holding you the relationship together, holding the building process of the relationship together. But you have to be in your masculine energy or you have to be in your feminine energy in order to have this building, in order for it to work, in order for you guys to work together. It seems as if this relationship put both of you in an energy that was off-putting and upsetting, okay? If you're a female, excuse me, if you're a woman, you should show up in your femininity. If you're a man, you should show up in your masculinity. If it's same sex, then you're going to have to choose the dynamic. Someone's going to be masculine, someone's going to be feminine. But you both should show up as opposites so that it can work, right? But if you're both showing up as the same masculine, masculine, or feminine, feminine, it's not going to work. There will be upheaval. There will be a breakup, a breakdown. The universe is telling you that you need to be a part of connections, relationships that allow for you to rest in either your feminine energy 
from your masculine energy. If the relationship does not allow for you to do that, this is not one you should be building in because it will always be upset. It, it will always be upheaval. It will always be a breakdown. Okay, so I'm here and people say, well, what does that mean in terms of resting in your feminine or your masculine energy? Okay, um, resting in your feminine energy. You should, so feminines are creators, abundance, givers, open. All right, something like the empress. And the masculine is structure, order, determination, um, protection. If none of that can be cultivated in a connection because of the situation, whatever the situation may be, then the relationship is always going to be, you know, um, unbalanced, or this would be imbalanced, or it's, it's going to be upset. So, in order for you guys to come back together, you guys are going to have to cultivate an energy for the both of you to rest easily in the masculine and in the feminine but if you both come back together as both a masculine it'll be a, you know it'll be a clash it'll be a, a, a mashup and if you come together as both feminine it's going to be cattiness and arguments and fights and drama we'll do a whole video on that all right what do you want to tell the Aquarius? Page of Swords. You need to learn something too. Um, also, you need to learn how not to engage in petty argument. Okay? Learn how not to. Learn when to fight. Okay? Everything is not a fight. This is what the universe wants to tell you, Aquarius. Page of Swords. Everything is not a fight. Um. You also need to learn maturity, uh, tact, and how you speak, and how you speak to others or speak to your person. Is it edifying? Is it building? Or is it tearing down? Always keep in mind your end goal, your end goal or your end game. If you want to be with this person, it's probably not best to curse them, to push them away to fight with them because it's not it's not conducive to the end game you want to be with them the pain to source says mental agility I don't, I don't think you always have, for some of you the cards want to tell you you don't always have to be on in terms of mentally like you don't on guard you, you don't always have to feel like people are playing with you and when that comes to you you don't always have to choose to play play stupid games get stupid prizes so the cards want to tell you to pick your battles wisely learn tact decorum uh, discretion learn how you're talking to people Last card for what the universe wants to tell the Aquarius, the moon card. Yeah. Somebody is sensitive to energies here. Uh, it could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and Scorpio, and Pisces highlighted. The Ten of Cups at the bottom of the day. Interesting. Um, somebody really does have a lot of emotions for you. They're repressed, or they're suppressed. They could be lying to themselves about how they feel about you. They could be watching you. They could be spying on you. This person wants to express but doesn't know how to. You and another person are fundamentally, fundamentally different. The fundamentals of how your makeup, you, you just go about the, the world differently. Your person could be more of emotional, personality, you could be very cerebral, cerebral. You could be very, you know, thought process, on guard. The both of you bring each other out of your comfort zones. 
And that's why the cards want you to understand cultivating an energy of where you both can be comfortable in your masculine and your feminine energy, in your respective energies. The moon card says there's so much unknown, there's so much repressed here because you both don't feel comfortable, even comfortable or you don't feel like you can be vulnerable with this person. They don't feel that way about you either. But you know that they make you happy. You, They know you make them happy. They know that they can have happiness with you. They want to call a truce. If you've had upset in family, familiar relationships, it says call a truce. Let it go. This person wants to have a fortunate change with you. They don't know how to go about it. You don't know how to go about it. These cards spell counseling. Individual counseling. Marital counseling. Coming together. Somebody doesn't know how to be in relation with the other, with the opposite sex, or with opposite energy. I don't know if they, all of a sudden, they will just break down or sabotage or something happens and then there's a breakdown. You could have found something out and you, you, you acted, you overreacted, you acted, I don't know. Somebody acted, what's the tower here? What's the tower here? You better get out of here. It's the tower. It's the tower. The eight of pentacles. The seven of swords. Okay, so you could have found out that maybe somebody was put it in worked somewhere else. Um, they weren't as invested in you as you thought. They weren't in, as invested in the connection as you thought. There could be someone who loves the other more than, you know, the other person. It could be that um, you felt like you were in some cycle of always putting in the work and not getting the reward. You felt like you were being deceived. You felt like you were doing all of the work and this person was deceiving you. They were masquerading around as if they were with you as if they were a friend and they were friend of me or they were enemy to what you actually wanted. They were saying one thing and meaning another or doing another. They were trying to get away with something, trying to go unscathed, uncaught. Well, not uncaught, but not caught, not get caught. They were sneaking around. They were doing something behind your back. You could find out that this person had an entire relationship behind your back. Um, could just find out this person was a, a was trying to swindle you. And that they were scandalous. They were a cheater. They could have been dealing with someone at work. This was the why things kind of jumped into the tower. You and these are not major arcana, so this is something that maybe you found out you were looking for. You found out that this person really wanted to go it alone. They are the lone wolf. They're out for themselves. They were going to leave you holding the bag at the end of the day, holding the bag of emotions. At the end of the day, they were gonna, they were really didn't have any intent. There were no intentions. You found out something. And it caused for the tower. I think that was then when you shifted out of that feminine energy for my ladies. And you shifted into the masculine energy. You found out that somebody was, you found out they were tricking you, trickery. The seven talk about magic and mystery. 
You felt like they were trying to pull the wool over your eyes and try to cover their tracks. Again, go and stay. Let's talk about how this person feels about you right now. Okay, you told me to pick up another day. How does this person feel about the Aquarius? Now we're going to uh, extend this. Because this is going too long. Let's extend this. In the extended, we'll find out how this person feels about you. I don't know. I feel like this person feels like this is a game that you guys play. You know, with the Eight of Pentacles coming up, your relationship is cyclical. You know, it goes in cycles. It's hot and it's cold. It's up and it's down. It's a roller coaster. You guys do this over and over again, giving chances to someone over and over again. Maybe you felt like this person would change. How does this person feel about the Aquarius? How does this person feel about the Aquarius? Looks like you found emotional stability without them with the Nine of Cups, because that's how you're coming into the reading. How does this person feel about the Aquarius? How does this person feel about the Aquarius? How does this to the extended um interesting high priestess at the bottom of the deck and we'll talk about her at the um, extended interesting energy in terms of how your person feels about you they feel like spirit has a lot to do with this let's go talk about it at the extended if you feel like this reading resonates for you you want to find out how this person feels about you we'll also get some advice for you at the extended reading in terms of how to deal with this person, how to deal with this relationship. Um, go over to the website, book, get the extended there. Um, it's under $5. Um, take advantage of that if you can't afford a full reading. Uh, also, ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. You can also um, donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.